Hi there, uh, Philistine Phil back again with beer tasting indoors and the screen's the wrong way. But I've not had a drink yet. How strange. Anyway, we are reviewing today a gluten-free Vagabond brew dog beer. So gluten-free is the big thing at the minute. Um, obviously lots of people having issues digesting uh, wheat um, and therefore we are getting more and more stuff I say we uh, they are getting more and more stuff uh, that they can eat and drink that is tasty and this is an American pale ale it's 4.5% uh, volume and this bottle uh, includes a massive uh, serving of uh, 330 millilitres. It's got a dog on the uh, on the thing. That is a dog. Trust me on this. Don't know what happened there, but the screen went all very weird. There we go. So it is a dog, <laughs> and um, uh, it's got a dog on there as well. And it's yeah, it's quite a nice bottle. So American Pale Ale, um, gluten free. I don't know what it's brewed with. To be fair. Um, Vagabond by name, but Vagabond by nature. Uh, be a uh, uh, attitude. Oh, it br bristles with attitude and optimism. Well, I'll be the judge of that, as I say. Stop. Lid off. Obviously, you hold it the correct way. Get your generic glass and you pour. Now, this won't fill the glass because it's only. And I would normally drink it out of the bottle, uh, but obviously, we need to see it to be able to review it. It's got a strong, strong smell. Hey, <laughs> there it is. Uh, actually, that's not a good thing, is it? No, I'll take that back. Um, you can put it there, will it show up on the thing? Oh, yeah, there we go. It'll show up, there you go. So, remember to look at it and think, hmm, that's quite tasty. It's uh, quite a clear uh, brew, you can see. Um, yeah, it's got definitely got a very strong, strong smell. Um, what is it made of? Because wheat and hops and all that. Uh, fruit flavors, zero gluten. Hmm. Well, let's see them. Will I enjoy it? It's definitely got a taste. I don't like it now though. Mmm. Tastes very watery. You know how you drink water? Tastes like that. But it's got, it has got a fruity flavour to it. I mean, a lot of lager, and a lot of people don't realise that lager does contain gluten, and obviously people who have celiac or other, uh, um, not allergies, it's not the right, right word, but intolerances, shall we say. <laughs> hey, ladies. Um, put a bit. Don't realise that, and they drink lager, but it's really good, bad for you. This tastes like a, a slightly odd lager. It's not unpleasant, but it's not pleasant. Does make sense, I know. So, what am I going to give it? Well, the concept's good. Um, so, if it was concept alone, it would get five stars. Um, but it's not about the concept, is it? It's about the taste, and I can't put my finger on what the taste is. So, would it? Um, okay, a Tony Christie. Sod it, we'll give it a Dean Martin as well. That's right, folks, two stars. Because it's something for the people who want to enjoy themselves at Christmas, New Year, birthdays, and all that kind of stuff. And it doesn't always quite uh, work out um, because you can't drink, because you can only drink spirits or whatever. So it's nice that they're doing this kind of thing. And I will be doing a lot more gluten-free reviews. So keep an eye out for that. I will do a playlist as well. I mean, sorry, not I. I'm Philistine Phil. I only do the beers. I mean, the channel, uh, the Tacky TV channel, will be doing lots and lots and lots 
of uh, gluten-free uh, reviews and we will be looking back over the... Uh, um, no, we won't. This has gone to my head, I'll tell you that. So yeah, two stars. That's all I'm giving it. Uh, but watch out for all the gluten-free reviews in the future. Um, some will be good, some will be bad. But I tell you what, uh, in the last three or four years, the, the choice and the quality of the food and the beers and everything that uh, gluten-free people have to have has increased tremendously. So at top of the top of the charts for people who've done that, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Anyway, thanks for watching. And remember, just stuff. <laughs> Philistine Phil here. Remember me.